It's written in the stars. I am a star. If I had money, I would only spend it on things that were fun, you know? Not boring things like taxes. I'm just wanting for everyone to party forever. Hi, I'm Alex from Enemy, and today I'm joined by two very exciting people, the stars of new film Babylon. It's Margot Robbie and Diego Calva. How are we doing? Hello. <laughs> hey. Good. There's lots of mad moments in this movie, but I've got to start with the party scene. Drugs, elephants, chickens. What was it like to be in the middle of that? And was it overwhelming? Overwhelming in the best way possible. Yeah. It was so fun. It was amazing. Yeah, like a Twilight Zone episode, you know, like living in the same party, like in a loop. <laughs> At some point, we, I was like, I wonder, will we ever get out of this party? Yeah, totally. But I love it and I don't want it to end, but also it has to end at some point. I'm going to lose my mind. The person I feel most sorry for in this situation is the party planner for the rap party. <laughs> they'll be like thinking what like, you, what am I supposed to do here? What are you going to yeah. do? Exactly. Yeah. No, I know. You ca it can't be topped. I think Siobhan, who I just interviewed, um, mentioned that um, Damien Giselle got onto a table and was like pouring champagne on people. Yeah, but that was <laughs> only like the, the celebration. It wasn't like a rap party. Oh, like, okay. Yeah, yeah. But he was saying like... He just uh, did that every day. Yeah, Yeah, that was every day on Babylon. <laughs> <Yeah, exactly. laughs> yeah. Damien Giselle pouring champagne. Yeah. <laughs> I, so I saw the film in December before I saw the cast list and um, I missed it. But apparently Albert Hammond Jr. was in this film. Can someone tell me about that? Albert? From The Strokes, the guitarist. He's, apparently he's in one of the party scenes, but... Do you know what I was saying before? Kaya Gerber's also in the film, yeah, but no really? one's picked up on that. Yeah, <laughs> Lady Faye kisses a, a woman at the party. That's Kaya I Gerber. completely missed that. But I know. That, this... It's little... <laughs> yeah, this is why you can't just see Babylon once. Like, yeah, A, you need totally. to see it on a big screen because look how much is in one frame of this movie. Um, and B, you need to see it again and again because there is so much going on that you will you'll find something new every time. And I know there was a lot of freedom on this film for the actors to kind of mm. make suggestions and change things. But... Um, was there ever any suggestion you said to Damien where he was like, you know what, even for me, that's too far? <laughs> no. Nothing. No. Never. No. <laughs> nothing with him, nothing. Just, the opposite. Like, yeah. Damien, I have this idea. No, more. More. I want more. <laughs> yeah. I would give the most I could possibly give, and then his note would be, that was great, I just need way more. And I'd yeah. be like, I don't have <laughs> more. What does he mean, more? And then you'd find it, yeah. Can you remember a specific thing that you were like, you went to Damien, either of you, and like, I want to change this, or I want to do this, and he was like, yeah, I hadn't thought that. Your eyes, wider. I needed, like, more, more. And he literally opened my eyes with his hands, like, wider, Diego, wider. I hope you weren't wearing, wearing contact lenses. Like, contact lenses. <laughs> no. I think the only note I gave Damien was, um, obviously there's a lot of drugs in this movie, and, and I play a character who does tons of drugs. But, like, he would have them rack up lines of coke that were just, like, the size of hot dogs. And I was like, Damien, should be dead. <laughs> we can't, like... Yeah, this like, is an OD this situation. Is, this is an OD situation. She, this, this is... In, people are going to watch this movie and know that this is ridiculous. And he's like, but it's not reading on camera. And I'm like, it's insane. <laughs> Actually, well, a couple of friends last night, this first thing they said, they're like, it was a bit ridiculous how much coke there was. <laughs> I was like... Because it was, remember, the big plate? A giant like, plate. I was like, we have to make these... A little less, should be dead. What is it? It's, obviously it's not real cocaine. Uh, it's I mean, either, it is. Yeah, yeah cocaine. Okay. <laughs> no, uh, it's uh, either vitamin B powder or uh, icing sugar. Yeah. Okay. Or baby laxative. Mm. Oh, that sounds dangerous. Or, or, yeah. <laughs> um, either way, it does, does hurt after a while. Though. Yeah. Diego, you spend a lot of this film kind of acting with animals, like elephants. Uh, there's chicken. Yeah. Um, which was the biggest diva to work with, the elephant or the chicken? The chicken totally, because I remember like mm. the, the first takes when they switched from, because we were using like a puppet and then the actual chicken. The chicken was like s such a good actor. He was like on the zone, you know, like a super chill. And the man was yelling like, Diego, next time, make that chicken angry. And I was like, how? How? Sh should I like start cursing to the chicken or like uh, <laughs> start provoking yeah. the chicken? <laughs> yeah, it was hard. You know, the chi there were chi a chicken tried to steal my shot at one point too really? when I was doing like the scene with Samara, and the chicken just kept jumping onto my spot on the couch. And I literally, they're like, "Bring in the chicken wrangler," and I was like, "We don't have time for that." I'm like, telling you, I like picked up the guy. chicken. And I was like, "No, this is my close up. Get yeah. out of here." And Margot, I hope you're not afraid of snakes. No, I'm not. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm not. Do you think Damien was like, Margot's from Australia, she can handle this? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I, I, I feel like I fulfil all the Australian stereotypes, so I think uh, that was fortunate in this case. And uh, there are so many extras in this movie. Probably the most I think I've ever seen in a film. Definitely the most I've ever yeah. seen on a film set. Did you get to kind of sort of interact with any of them like, yeah. outside yeah. the set? Make any new friends? Yeah. We spent literally two weeks 
in the same party, all of us. I, I, I literally have like a lot of friends from the background, like yeah. artists, like a lot. Yeah, they were great, honestly great. One of the girls from the um, party, I ended up going like, we'd go roller skating in Venice Beach so because cool. she was on roller skates at the party and I was like, I love roller skates, like let's go. So we'd hang out. Another, like one of the contortionist dancers is Jeff Goldblum's wife. Oh. Yep. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she was like, when I'm up on the table and like the two naked girls are there, anyway, that's just Jeff Goldblum's wife. Whoa. Yeah. Did you, you know. get to speak to her much? What did she say? Because I was like, you look so familiar when we were dancing together. I was like, and she was like, we've met before. I was with my husband, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, what a small world. <laughs> so cool. Yeah. Jeff didn't turn up to kind of sort of. <laughs> I didn't see Jeff, no, no. <laughs> he, he could be on the background he, and nobody knows. Yeah, he, 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 he would have like, loved this yeah. though, I feel like. I feel like he, he would have fit in so well in yeah. Babylon. Yeah. <laughs> Have either of you, maybe in the early days of your career, been an extra on something that nobody really knows about? I was in a in a Hooters commercial, uh, not as a Hooters girl, as someone eating at Hooters, and um, didn't get paid for it, but uh, whatever. And at the end of the day, they offered me a job, and I was like, <laughs> yes. I was like, I, I, I think this is just where my career's going. I'm gonna end up working <laughs> at Hooters, and that's, that's cool. When was this? Uh, when I was back on living on the Gold Coast. Oh, I think okay. I was like 16. <laughs> Before or after Neighbours? Yeah, oh, before, before okay, Neighbours. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. When I when I got my job on Neighbours, I was working at Subway, and I got to go in and, like, quit my job at Subway, and they were like, why? And I was like, because I'm going to be on Neighbours. And they were like, oh. And then six months later, I did a commercial for Subway, where they paid me that time. I got paid to do a commercial Not for Subway. Not in the same Subway. No, but, like, just the company in general. And they, but Subway. Yeah, and I, was, and I was like, that's so crazy. Like, thank you. You guys must have heard that I used to work at Subway. They were like, what? No, we just wanted you... It, because of neighbors and I was like I was working for Subway six months ago this is mad yeah. that's I love great. that story yeah it's crazy my last uh, question then um, Enemy is a music magazine first and foremost um, is there a musician that either of you would love to play in a biopic S Stevie does? Nicks would be fun mm. I think everyone's been trying to do a Janis Joplin for a long time oh yeah. that would be cool I'm not, I'm not musically gifted I don't think I should do any of this but you can you're very artistic and can do everything I will say like, so, uh, can you imagine like a biopic of Frank Zappa for example that would oh, be that'd cool be I don't know if I'm the guy but that would be a cool movie could it grow the tash yeah yeah yeah, yeah. let's get rid of this that would be a cool be a movie a bit curlier right. <laughs> yeah I can see it yeah <laughs> <laughs> thanks so much for speaking thank to me you. Guys. it's been a pleasure thank thanks. you thank you fuck yeah <laughs>